Did you see what I did right there? Okay, look at it again. So that was my first attempt at making this top. And it was also my first attempt at using a faceplate on my lathe. What I did is I glued up a whole bunch of pieces of wood and I thought this would make a nice little pattern. And it does, and I'm gonna use this on my next one. But to fit this onto my lathe faceplate, I figured it wasn't quite big enough to screw it on. So I took another piece of wood to attach to my faceplate. And you see where I went with this? I glued the end grain onto that faceplate. <laughs> yeah, sure enough, I'm lathing away on this thing and it just goes bleep, and it just broke off. Sometimes you just need to rewind and start again. <laughs> so I've got different types of contrasting woods that I'm going to glue together to make one piece. There's my top. <laughs> so I'm not having a good go at this. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just jinxed on this top. I was at the very end. It's always at the very, very end of a turning, it seems like, at least with me. So I was at the very end. I'm about ready to just cut this off here. I don't even think I needed that face plate, really. I think I could have just used the regular spindle turning thingy. At any rate, I was right, right at the very, very end, ready to cut that off, and the thing just exploded on me. This is what you get when you watch an unvetted woodworker. <laughs> but I'm gonna give this another go. I don't think I'm gonna glue a bunch of wood together, although it did look really nice like that. I think I'm just gonna use maybe a big chunk of maple or something. I don't think I have a big chunk of maple. I'll find something, you don't, you don't worry. This place is a disaster now. I've got wood and little bits and chunks all over the place. <laughs> But I did find this. Big chunks of oak. If you watch my mere minutes, and if you don't, shame on you. Uh, you will have known that I picked up four of these big huge leg posts at my son's school. They were going to throw them away. So I took them. And now I can make use out of them. And they're not solid oak. They're just three pieces laminated together. But this is my last shot. Help me, Obi-Wan. You're my only hope. <laughs> All right, there's my oak blank, all mounted in my lathe and ready for my third attempt. But I don't think I'm gonna shoot any video of it this time. Maybe that's what was jinxing me. And plus you get the idea of what I'm doing here and you know, just watching me turn stuff is kind of boring. <laughs> Not unlike this entire video though, of course. <laughs> so, but you know what would be more interesting? I'm gonna show you some. <laughs> Some footage I shot several years ago on various roller coasters with techno music in the background. <laughs> Roller coasters can make any video exciting. <laughs> but in the meantime, I was able to, well, I changed my shirt, if you will notice, <laughs> and I completed the top. The third time was the charm. So here's how it turned out. I mean, it's basically just a disc here. Uh, you want, you know, a low center of gravity on it so it'll spin. And I tried to make this spindle fairly narrow. This piece is going to be for the handle for the pull string, so all I want to do is drill a hole all the way through here that's a little bit larger than the spindle on the top. And now I just want to make a larger hole through the side. Now I'm just drawing out a simple curve to make this handle a little bit more comfortable. So I've got a couple coats of lacquer on everything and the top will fit right in through that hole like that. The last thing I need to do is drill a small hole through the center of this rod. 
to use this thing, then all you got to do is you, you take the top and you put it through that hole like that, and then you grab a string. I use an orange string, but I think a blue string would also work. And then, of course, you take that string and thread it through that little hole in the center. Then you just start winding it up like this. And then pull the string. Now watch when you pull the string. Pull the string. Hmm. Well, there you go. Hours of fun for any child, right there. <laughs> what say we just pretend this video never happened? <laughs> Click up here if you'd like to see last week's video, which was, well, way better than this week's video. <laughs> And click over here if you'd like to check out Mere Minutes, my video blog.